Hey there, and welcome to the 500 Twitter followers video. I'm going to show you the recorded, unedited footage uh, from the making of the video. Um, this is just like a big thank you to all you 500 followers, which is now at 500 plus. But more on that a little later on, so let's cut straight into the first one. Hope you all enjoy. But as you can see, this is an MLG Troll Station bag. This is the PlayStation one. This is pretty standard. It comes with removable covers, interchangeable sticks. As you can see, this is a PlayStation controller from the home button. And I have it in an Xbox 360 configuration. Which is easily changed. With just a few seconds, you can have it back into a PlayStation configuration. You could change that and that one around if you wish. This also comes with weights added and is is reinforced. As part of the accessory pack for this one, you do get alternative stacks. Now going into the, you can see the green control freaks. Those are the red injustice ones for the red controller. Blue ones for the blue controllers, and these ones. Some are raised up higher, which will improve accuracy. But more on the control freaks when we do the review later on. But carrying cases are important. This is segregates everything. We'll carry on with the controllers. Just grab it. This is the Razer Sabertooth. Now I have removed the paddles from the back. But it does come with external paddles. This is in standard configuration at the moment. And more reviews on this a little later on. As you can see here's the paddle. One of the paddles. And this also comes in its hard lines case. Good text. Now we'll go back on to headsets. More traveling ones. These are fixed rotation, which means you can pack them up. Put them in a, a hard case if you wish, or just rumble them in the bottom of your bag. These are the Kunai, uh, these are the Kraken Pros. Very versatile, very comfortable. And as my cameraman today is Commissar Jake, can truly ad adhere to. He finds these quite comfortable and the auditory quite great. The only bit he doesn't like is the plush leather, plushy ear cups. But we'll go more on to headsets. A little when we do the podcast later on. Uh, also, I carry these. I you will notice more as the video goes on. I have a fair few Navi sponsorship. This is the Siberia V2. Now, while I go away for my little trip away, which everybody knows about with the interviews and everything else, Jake is going to get the Steel Series adapter for his 360 controller and he's going to get to test out Siberia's. Fair enough, I can't argue with that. And he's going to probably play it on an arrangement of titles and get back to us on how the sound quality differs. This is also another standard stereo headset, but stereo is sometimes just as good as surround sound. Uh, oh, wait, I know everybody will be going, oh, it's not. Surround sound's far better. It's far superior. You, first person shooters, driving games, football games, and all that. Uh, I tell you this. Your sound and hearing is basically consistent with surround sound. So as far as stereo versus surround sound goes, I would say headsets. It's down to. Sorry. This is the second. It's a good headset, but it, it's not a long way. The 
headband is rigid and stiff, but more, we'll do more details. But anyway, this is, this is Evil Genius's um, professional gaming headset. I use this on the time they play. This is the Tactic 3D headset. <coughs> and the reason that they use this one is because it has two ways. You've got the USB c uh, communication and charge link, and you've got the standard docking cable. This is what they used up to the X Games this year when they had switched to Plantronics. I don't own a Plantronics. But we'll go more into that in the podcast later on. So we've gone through that arrangement of headsets. We've done a little bit of into the asteroids. We've gone through there. There is one other headset, and I'd like to bring this up because this gaming headset has just been officially endorsed by Strictly Business head to head. They've been using it. Uh, evil geniuses um, were going to use it, but then decided to, uh, to to go with the Plantronics instead. I think they just got paid more. Um, and that leads us on to the old-fashioned brick. If you guys are still on the PS3, then this headset will be very familiar to you. <laughs> As you can see, this is a rigid steel headband, but the cushioning is really soft. But you really do look like an escapee from the Cybermen when you wear it, so probably not the most fashionable <laughs> of headsets. Um, we'll go on to, I mean, for all of you guys out there, you will be on the moon, and this is what I do. I go out on the move with. This is, of course, the aluminum chassis frame and back MSI GS70 Stealth. And as you can see, it's pretty big. I'll hit the button and you'll be able to see how quickly it loads up. Which is ridiculous. As you can see the slowness, the only time it takes is for me to type in the password. RGB backlit keyboard. No, I wouldn't use the evil one if I was like that. Turn down seems to take much longer. Um, we'll just put that to the side. Also, for all of you PC gamers out there, you will know. The Steel Series. We do have a smaller PW3 that I carry. That's the standard for gaming mouse map nowadays. Jake, I'm sure we'll take a pan across to the monitors and show you the Goliath mouse map that's now folded in half underneath my stand to show you. Plus the fact that I'm a little bit of the untidy desk. But this is another pro gaming mouse map, but that's the hold. All the lovely toys and gadgets, as you can see. And yeah, yeah, which if you guys are following, you will see how she lights up. The lovely, um... Black Widow competition keyboard. Yep. <laughs> Unfortunately, she's not let up. She's not plugged in. Is my old Weaver. This is a mechanically 
gaming time for all you M uh, MOBA players. And there, of course, we'll pan across. And we will come to the more gaming setup. You can hear from me like a very iconic blip. We have the Xbox One. You can be seen on the screen here. Now, we're going on about Steam Series <coughs> and Titans and the whole thing I mentioned are, of course, the Turtle Beach. Now, these are quite rare. This is, of course, the Call of Duty Ghosts Shadow headset. This is a really affordable headset. This does come with its own mix amp, which is not bad. It does feel really plasticky, but I will promise you, if you can't afford an Astro, you can't afford a Razer, it's worth giving a go. Give these a go. The mix amp is well worth it. Headset feels about twenty pound, but the sound quality is really good. And later on today, uh, we're going to have a, on the podcast. We're going to have a few games on the PlayStation Four, and we are going to test them out. We're going to put them up against. The Razors, the Astros, is, well, the Kinais, they're, they're good, but I mean, they're really difficult to get a hold of now. Um, especially the red ones. The red one and the blue ones, the classic PlayStation 4 ones that came out with the PS4 launch, they're now non existent. You've got the black ones, the white ones, and I think orange now. So. They're like this, so I think maybe scratching the idea. We'll put them up against the, the razors because the razors have problems with the PS4 controller. But I'll do a review on compa comparing razor to Astros uh, in the sort of a optic versus um, strictly business sort of matchup. Um, going on. F Going on from that, we'll uh, we'll go forward here. This is actually set up on the 360 at the moment because unfortunately I lost the cable that comes with my adapter for the Xbox One controller. Now this mix up is different to the other one because it's daisy chain, which means I can plug in someone else's headset. Not too sure how that works. But anyway, there we go. And we'll then go back to the controllers. Now, as you know, I'm the big red count, so I have the lovely Scott One controller. This is the adapter I've been on about. And we can compare that to the standard one. You'll notice that the sticks are a little different. These are a little bit raised. We've got the uh, nice little grips. So we've got the tiles on the back and not on that one. And if Jake passes me the camera, we shall take you down and show you the beast that runs the cell. This is my PC. This is what we use for to record the stuff on. There's the screens. And if I take you actually down here, I saw it not that long ago. Where has he gone? There we go. 
you can see it that's the Elgato she's plugged in he's plugged into the Xbox which is plugged into the TV so I will there you go that was part one of the video um sorry uh, guys for some of the, the quality and the angles this is unedited footage um, so I'm hoping that you guys will enjoy this and we'll hit you up later as you can see I am wearing the Astro A40s and the mic you are listening to I think is coming from the camera so moving on uh, part two is a little bit further on because I had to attach it to the uh, split X split broadcaster. So, without further ado, here's part two. This is going on from the computer. Hopefully, you guys will like it. Okay, hopefully, that's going to come through. Oh, okay. Well, I'll end the video here, and we'll do another one trying to broadcast the video. So part two will be up later on. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe, like, or dislike if you want. But the more people who watch it, the better it gets. And consider criticism will be held, so just add that in at the bottom. Thank you very much. Catch you all later. Bye.